Installation of the IKTCHIKB02 or similar cord and plug connected range hood, and its conversion to a hardwired connection. The kitchen range hood IKTCHIKB02 is already mounted in the frame. Kitchen range hood cord with plug. Cable to power range hood left at hood estimated location. Make sure the power is turned off. If the power cable for the hood remains behind the hood frame, move it inside the hood frame. If the hood frame cabinet has access to the hood cable, you can install a receptacle on the power cable for the hood and plug the hood power cord to it. This plug and receptacle serves as the disconnecting means required by 2020 NEC Article 422.30. The range hood can be cord and plug connected if the hood cord is identified as suitable for use on range hoods and is protected from physical damage and the receptacle outlet is accessible and powered by a dedicated AFCI protected branch circuit as per 2020 NEC Article 422.16 b. 4. Range hoods with a supplied power cord, installed by the manufacturer and the manufacturer does not require a dedicated circuit for this hood, can be connected to any lighting circuit receptacle outlet, except for circuits dedicated by NEC for certain places in the house, for example, circuits of small kitchen appliances, laundry, etc., as per 2020 NEC Article 110.3, b and Article 210.23, A. The hood's power cord must not run through the wall. When the range hood is hardwired, the circuit breaker requires a padlockable device as per 2020 NEC Article 422.30, Article 422.31, A, and Article 110.25, the range hood electrical outlet requires AFCI protection per NEC 2020. Remove the filter parts from the range hood to open the wiring compartment. Cut the plug from the hood cord, leave enough length of the cord to connect in the junction box. Remove the power cord connector securing the cord and insert the cord into the hood wiring compartment. The material needed to convert the hood from a cable and plug to a permanent connection. Metal handy junction box 13 cubic inches capacity or any other. Handy junction box blank cover. Ground screw. Metal clamp connectors, this connector is rated for cord and NM cables. Attachments screws. Wire nuts. Eye cable ties. If the existing knockout for the cable connector is too small, enlarge it using a step drill bit and fit it to the cable connector.
Install the cable connector into the hood wiring compartment knockout. Insert the power cable into the cable connector and tighten the cable connector clamp screws. Choose which ones and open two knockouts in the junction box. Attach the junction box to the hood housing in the selected location. Install the ground screw. Install the two cable connectors. Insert the NM power cable into the cable connector and tighten the connector clamp screws. Insert the power cord cable into the second connector and tighten the connector clamp.
Use a cable tie to secure the cables to the hood housing no more than 12 inches from the cable entry to the junction box. Remove the cable sheath from the cable and power cord. Wrap the ground wire, bare, of the NM cable around the ground screw and tighten the screw. Cut the wires to no less than 6 inches, required, and strip the wire ends approximately 1 half inch. Using wire nuts, connect the wires as follows. Ground wire, bare, from the NM cable to ground wire, green, from the range hood. Neutral wire, white, from the NM cable to the neutral wire, white, from the range hood. Hot wire, black, from the NM cable to the hot wire, black, from the hood.
Install the junction box cover. Restore power. Install a padlockable device on the circuit breaker appropriate to this breaker, NEC requirement. Reinstall the filter parts of the range hood. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.